Hi, in this video I am going to demonstrate how to use QODBC with SQL Server. So I have already installed QODBC and QuickBooks. I do have MS SQL installed. So let's get started with uh, configuring QODBC on SQL Server. So the first step is start your QODBC setup screen and just verify you have a default option. Start your QuickBooks company file, log in as admin. Switch to your Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio and log into your SQL Server database. Your SQL Server database should be residing or should be running onto the same machine as you have your QuickBooks and QODBC installed. If you have your server running on a different machine, uh, please refer the document on how to connect QODBC with the remote. Uh, machine so first of all start your Q remote server if it is not running so in my case uh, I don't have Q remote server running so I'll be starting Q remote server Q remote server will list the IP address. Now let's move to TSN. So if your SQL server is of 32 bit, you will be configuring ODBC data data source for 32 bit. If you have a 64 bit SQL server, you will be configuring 64 bit one. So for this demonstration, I'll be configuring both. Uh, but we'll be using only one uh, DSN onto the SQL server. So this is a 32-bit one. So make sure you have QuickBooks data Q remote. Hit configure. Your QuickBooks data Q remote should be pointing to the same IP address as your QuickBooks server. Sorry, Q remote server is. select QuickBooks data over here hit OK in the same way just make sure you have QuickBooks data 64 bit 64 bit and you have the same IP address listed as your Q remote server is make sure you are connected Okay, so I'm going to minimize Q remote server for the time being. Switching to SQL server, let us first verify what is the architecture, is it a 32 bit or a 64 bit. So first of all right click on to your SQL server database and hit properties. So this one is of 64 bit. The steps remain same for 64 bit or 32 bit only the changes you need to use a different DSN. So I'll be coming to that point later. Next step is navigate to server objects link server. Right click on to link server create link server and we'll use QODBC select Microsoft OLEDB provider for ODBC drivers select data 
so select product name or enter product name as QODBC and as we have on we are on a 64 bit machine we'll be using 64 bit DSN sorry as we are on a 64 bit SQL server we'll be using 64 bit data source So in case you have a 32-bit SQL server, you will be using QuickBooks Data Query Mode. So onto the QuickBooks, you will have the certificate. Once you accept the certificate, SQL server should get connected. Oh, yes, it is. Now let us configure the providers. select MSDA SQL and hit properties you need to select the first six options test the SQL statements new query so select star from QOTBC dot 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 customer execute Now let us also test with open query. Select star from open query QODPC and the SQL statement. Alright, we are connected and we have the data. I hope this video helps. Thank you.